we're here at Festival Super Mall, the location of the very first reality franchise business series on Philippine television. Previously, we gave you an overview in Festival Super Mall, what to do to secure space with the leasing department, and also how to prepare for the construction of the store with operations. Next is another crucial step, marketing the business together with Festival Super Mall's marketing group. The success of a business is not dependent on the product alone. Creating consumer awareness and making it known is equally important. Today, we head to Festival Super Mall to find out and learn more about the different promotional techniques and marketing strategies available for us as franchisees. I'm with Ms. Rose Nuki, the group head for marketing and exhibit of Festival Super Mall, to tell us about the marketing strategies and, of course, the advertising options to all of the tenants here. Hi, Ms. Rose. Hi, there. And, of course, uh, syempre, as we are new tenants here in Festival Super Mall, I wonder po, what are the entitlements that we are open to? The first thing for a mall to be successful is, of course, the location. Your store has to be located in the very Prime area. Yeah. Prime area. Now, the next thing for you to do is to capture your market, which are your customers. And we do that through signages. So it's very important that people know where you are, where you're located, to make them aware that there's a new store here and that they're ready to serve your needs. So for new stores, you know, we have entitlements or we give this signage is free of charge nice. to the mall. When so, you say signage is like banners or? Well, banners, streamers, we call hang signs. Those things that are hanging from the ceiling which direct customers to where your store is. So it's very important that you put that your store is open, where it's located. Which it's a, part of the mall, which floor. Right, correct. The mall is 200,000 square yeah, meters it's big. It's a big mall and we have nine entrances. And each entrance cater to a specific market. So if you'd like to attract, if your store caters to that market and you'd like to attract that market to come into your store, then you better make sure that you have exposure in that area. So to lead them to your store. Or when you're inside the mall, you can lead them to your store through like posters. And we also encourage our tenants to do leafleting. Is it possible that we can avail of all entrances or are we limited to certain areas? We're, what we do is we recommend certain we recommend areas that are uh, appropriate. Well, well, the target market would be appropriate for your uh, area. And last but not least, you did mention this was free, but I'm sure it's a limited time only. Yeah, you have to avail of it uh, from within six months for a one-time uh, use. And then afterwards, we charge a minimum fee. Tenants can avail of this, especially if they're promoting new items in their store, a or promotion. they're launching a promotion, mm -hmm. or they have activities within the store. So, so there. So that's, that's how we do it. But apart from the collateral spaces, Festival Super Mall also offers their tenants other means to be more in touch with their customers all throughout the year. So, Ms. Rose, what else are the other marketing options available to tenants, both new and regular, that are available to them here at the mall? Well, aside from the signages, which we had a lengthy discussion about, mm -hmm. they can also come up with a marketing exhibit. And this may be through mall-initiated thematic activities that we put up. The mall comes up with an area that, that is themed for that specific occasion, and we invite tenants to participate usually by uh, selling uh, the products or their services. So this can be uh, small spaces uh, within a designated location of the mall, which will be converted into an activity to conduct retail activities. What I like it is like you're having two stores or locations in one right, huge mall. Right, right. So it's like hitting two birds with one store. Correct. Your exposure and of course, riding on to the retail occasion wherein people really buy during that season. Other separate but mutually beneficial arrangements that the tenant and festival super mall can get into are exhibits. These thematic, specialized events are the perfect synergy of tenant and the mall and can lead to long-term benefits far beyond immediate sales and PR. And now I'm with Ms. Emily De Leon, the exhibits manager. Ms. Emily, what are the differences between um, marketing-initiated events and something under you, which is the exhibits? Okay, for uh, exhibits-initiated uh, events, 
you showcase merchandise items. Now, for marketing initiated events, you have the concerts, the competitions, the plays, and other activities. Okay, you said merchandising. So, kailangan uh, mostly RTI or pati food? Retail items like what you see at the background. Uh -huh. So, it can be apparel, toys and gifts, um, other novelty items. Mm -hmm. So, what exactly kind of benefits do tenants get if they join in especially mall-initiated uh, exhibits? They get to, be, uh, to display their items in strategic locations in the mall. Like, well, one is here in Carousel Court. For tenants of the mall, uh, participation is very minimal. So, they can either pay in cash or uh, through exchange deals. That is by way of issuance of uh, gift certificates. To the mall, of yes. course. <laughs> so with that, thank you very, very much. Thank you very Ms. much, Emily. Lisa. The success of your business's marketing and promotions can spell the difference between a business that merely survives to one that actually achieves phenomenal growth. But still, at the end of the day, it's all about location, location, location. So join us next time as we launch our very first franchise business here at Festival Supermall.